Can I come in? What do you want? Nothing, Ma. Honest to God. You're looking well. Healthy. Place ain't changed much. Do you mind if I sit down? Back's playing up after the drive. How's your health? Well, back ain't too clever. And the doc's reckon I got that cancer beat. Oh, good. Been two years now. Right. Help yourself, mince pie. Don't mind if I do. Mince pie. A drink. And then you go. Gave it up. Gave everything up. Apart from the fags. Dare say your old fellow will drink that later. He ain't here. Mm. He ain't snuffed, has he? No, he has not. He's had a stroke. Living in a nursing home for now. Oh. Sorry to hear that. You must miss him. Especially today. You should always spend Christmas with the ones you love the most. Don't know what he used to say? Mm. This is lovely. Here. Dripping tap. Probably needs a new washer. I dare say. I've got my tools in the back of the van. No room at the inn, eh? Now I know how that Joseph felt. Can't say I blame you. I think I'll have a wander for I head off. Lay a few ghosts to rest. More times than I can remember. Is that right? Only they ain't saying much. Junked up to the eyeballs. Nineties kind of passed me by. Yeah. My son died outside there. Don't know what I'm telling you. Just some stranger's dead kid, right? What was his name? Ashley. Sorry. You got kids? No. Oh, you will. And when you do, hold them tight. Don't you ever let them go. Understand? I'll make your turkey sandwich for you go, if you like. <laughs> when did they let you out? April. Early. Model inmate, they said. Yeah, proper little angel, I'm sure. You made this? Yeah. I finished it the day I was diagnosed with cancer. I it over my bed. Something to watch over me. I thought you'd remember it. As I remember it, you wouldn't let me visit you, not once. Anyway, I try not to think about that place. You ever think about me? You're my son. I prayed for you every day. 
Then why can't you look at me? I ain't what I was. When I was given the all clear, them words stuck in me head. All clear. It was like someone was telling me, it don't really matter what you've done in the past. It's all been wiped away. Fresh start. So, God spoke to you. What next? The burning bush? <sighs> Why are you being like this? Because you worm your way in here and you think that I'll lower me guard. Well, let me tell you, Nick, my guard is well and truly up. <laughs> Look, I ain't claiming to be the Pope of Wolford. I don't know much about all your God stuff, but I heard an inner voice. Well, I don't know if it was God or me or Barry Flaming White. It don't really matter. But what matters is I listened. Someone was trying to steer me straight. And for the first time in my life, I listened. <sighs> all right, forget all that religious stuff. Maybe it was me. I don't know. Last decent part of me trying to be heard. Or maybe it was Gerald. Gerald? Gerald who? Fella I shared a cell with. <laughs> nice man, family man. Oh. Yeah, he taught me a lot. It was him that got me signed up for the plumbing. So you really are a plumber? Yeah. Signed on inside. Worked hard, got me MVQ. When I got out, I took a job up on Tyneside. Five months of 12 hour days. Bought myself a van, bought me gear, and here I am. All clear. I'm pleased. And I'm sorry, Ma. I'm sorry for all the bad things I've done. I just hope that one day you can forgive me. And about forgiveness. I know I've done that lots of times over the years. Forgiveness is just a switch in the heart, but Forgetting is different, and trust is different. There ain't no shortcut to them.